moving, people. We meet Dr. Doyle at the trading post in precisely one hour. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you, Tarzan. Uh, and I hope to make the Waziri village by nightfall so that uh, Dr. Doyle and I can begin our study first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, the, uh, uh. Oh, very well. You take that one, then. No, 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 dear. I've got it. Daddy, are you sure? You, you're back. Oh, I'm fine. I'm not so ancient that I can't lift a single solitary... Great. <laughs> there. Don't go planning to cast the old professor out onto any ice flows just yet. <laughs> Strong as an ox. <laughs> you know, I feel as though I already know the famous Dr. R.M. Doyle quite well. Yeah, I've, I've been reading his work and corresponding with him for years. Dr. Doyle, welcome to Africa. Sorry, mate. My name's not Doyle, and I sure as heck ain't no doctor. Uh, you're not? Uh, but then who is... Professor Archimedes Q. Porter, I presume. Would you look at that? He's a she. She most certainly is. Welcome to Africa. Uh, please, allow me. Oh, are you all right? Oh, dear. Now, just relax, Professor. Please, call me Archimedes. Oh, good as new. You are a marvel, Dr. Doyle. Oh, no, please, call me Robin. The professor seems eager to begin his research. Yeah, I'll say. Professor and Dr. Doyle sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. How is it, sweet? Love is in the air. I think those are mosquitoes. It's good for Daddy. I haven't seen him act like this since Mother was around. Oh, you, you know, in, in all the time we spent corresponding, I, I never once imagined that you were... Uh, well, that is to say that, uh, that you are... A woman? I hope I haven't disappointed you. No nonsense! No, I, I wish that more of my colleagues in the scientific community could be women. I, I, I wish they all could be. In fact, I sometimes wish that I was a woman. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, Archie. Oh, you are something. So I get to help assist you with the study, right, Professor? Oh, of course, Tantor. As always, you will be with me every step... Look! My friends, welcome. Kiwazi, Basuli, it's good to be with you again. Kiwazi, this is Dr. Doyle, the scientist we told you about. I hope your time with us will prove to be of value. I'm sure it will. I look forward to learning all I can about your people. Tomorrow you can begin your study, but tonight we feast. Tarzan, can I uh, bend your ear for a tick? You'll have to tell me why first. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, can I talk to you, my boy? Oh, of course. Well, it's, it's, 
It's Robin, or, or Dr. Doyle, actually. I mean, you see, I'm, I'm not certain quite how to put this, really. You see, the thing of it is, I... You like her? Um, yes. I'd say that sums it all up rather nicely. Now, the problem here is that I'm not really sure of... Uh, well, that is to say, I don't... Re Ask her to take a walk in the jungle with you. I'm not sure it's all that simple. You don't think I'm too old, do you? For walking in the jungle? No, 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 for her. What could she possibly see in an old coot like me? Well, I don't know what a coot is, but I'm sure you're a very good one. Yes, I'm afraid that's true. Professor, the Waziri elders are old, but they are respected because their age has given them experience and wisdom. Yes, yes, perhaps you're right. Oh, thank you, Tarzan. <laughs> Let us all join in the dance. Ladies, please. Oh, do excuse me. <laughs> you, you, pardon me. Oh, was that your foot? So sorry. Oh, Dr. Doyle. Uh, quite invigorating, isn't it? Oh, this is just brilliant, Archie. I can't wait to begin our interviews in the morning. Uh, uh, Robin, there's something I'd like to ask you. Uh, that is to say, I am asking you. Uh, Archie, are you all right? Fine, fine, please. Carry on, all. So now, uh, what was it you needed to ask me? Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> I can take it if you can, my friend. Now then, we thought we would begin our study with you, the Waziri Tribal Elders. You then, kindly state your name. I am Usula, head of the Elder Council. And uh, how old are you, if you don't mind my asking? Usula is 700. Right, and what... Uh, excuse me, well, what, what was that you said? 700. 732 years. Give or take a few. And you? Are you also that old? No, sir. I am Kobe. Kobe has only 548 years. Uh, this summer. There simply must be an explanation for their amazing longevity. Well, we've gone over diet, anatomy, and... <gasps> oh. Uh, what about differences in calendar? No, oh, I checked that. The Waziri do use a different calendar, but it's actually more accurate than ours. There has to be a cause. Oh, oh well, oh, I'm turning in. Perhaps we can get a fresh start in the morning. Good night, Archie. Uh, yes, uh, good night, Doctor. I've gone over every aspect of the Waziri lifestyle. It could just be hereditary or... Did you ask them about the fountain? Sorry? Uh, the fountain, did you say? High in the mountains, there is a hot spring. When a Waziri reaches the age of 50, they make a sacred journey to this spring and drink from it. It rejuvenates the mind, body and spirit. You're saying that this fountain, it makes those who drink from it young again? The entire journey builds physical and spiritual strength. But the mineral components in that water must have amazing restorative powers. We must make an expedition up there at once. The snow conditions make it far too dangerous to reach the fountain at this time of year. When spring comes, I will lead you there myself. Spring? But I need to go now. Daddy, the fountain can wait. Archie, you really ought to get some rest now. You're not as young as you used to be. Don't I know it? Uh, say, Dr. Doyle, in light of this most recent discovery, how would you like to extend your visit, say, oh, until the spring? Oh, I'd love to, Archie. But after I leave here, I'm booked in the Amazon through next year. I'm afraid it'll have to be now or never. Yes, now or never indeed. Just where do you think you're going? Uh, 
Uh, nowhere, really. Uh, just a little early morning research expedition. Oh, really? And you were going without me? Your trusty research assistant? But I really didn't think that... Oh, come on! Every step of the way! Isn't that what you promised? Well? <sighs> oh, very well. Jane, have you seen your father? No, I assumed he was with you. There's no sign of him. That's strange. His pack has gone. Hey, guys, have you seen Tantor? Tantor is missing, too. Two? Who else? <gasps> oh, my goodness. The Waziri Fountain. Daddy's got after it. Fountain? What fountain? We must go after him at once. Oh, Daddy, what have you done? I think I just felt my ears pop. Uh, I don't mean to complain or anything, but how much higher are we gonna go? My sinuses tend to go. Oh, well, guess the research trip is over. Not necessarily. We can cross that ice bridge. You are kidding, right? Oh, not to worry, Tantor. If I'm remembering the paper I published at King's College concerning weight distribution, we should be just fine. Well, I've got a lot of weight to distribute. Whoa! Professor, hurry! Hang on, my boy. It's a matter of balance and counterbalance over an axis of rotation. Uh, it, it is simple, really. Push on, shall we? White Earth? Hmm. That is snow, my friend. Just frozen rain, really. Wow! Hey! Snow is fun! Tarzan, you really ought to put these on now. No chance. My man Tarzan goes au naturel 24-7. Snow or no snow. Am I right? Right. <laughs> How about for you, Bazuli? I can take it if you can. We should probably push along that way. Look for a place to camp. <sighs> I vote for a nice campfire, have a sing-along, maybe roast a few marshmallows. <laughs> All right, now are you two ready for some warm clothes? Whoa, not for Tarzan. He likes a little chill in the air. Am I right or am I right? Right. I'm fine. Then I'm fine as well. Honestly, you two are worse than a couple of children. Look! A storm. We will have to camp here for the night. Continue in the morning. Oh, Jane. I know your father's a devoted scientist, but why would you do something so foolish? <sighs> I I'm afraid it isn't for science at all, Dr. Toyle. It's for you. For me? Because she wouldn't want an old coot like me, Tantor. If I can just drink from this fountain, make myself a bit younger. Ugh. All right, let's see. The symptoms of hypothermia. Chills and shivering. Check. Dizziness and fatigue. Check. Slurred speech. Check. We must find shelter before it gets dark. Let's try to make our way to the North Ridge. It's our only chance. North! Which way is north? Here, give me a hand. Uh, 
now, if I can just remember that course on magnetic engineering I took at Cambridge, uh, I should be able to magnetize a piece of metal. It's a simple matter of polarization through friction. Uh, Tantor, be a good chap and melt some snow for me. Oh, brain freeze! It's working! North! <laughs> we'll start fresh in the morning! Tantor? Where did he go? Tantor? There you are! Oh, oh, hi, Professor! Sorry if I'm holding us up. I just had to soak my back after yesterday's hike, you know. The fountain! <laughs> oh, joy, oh, joy, you found it! <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I can. Nothing to it. Oh, yes. I can feel it working. Daddy! Professor. Archie! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Oh, I'm better than all right, Doctor. I'm young again. Watch this. See? Everything's just dandy. I'm... Isn't so fun after all. Tie everyone together, hurry! The fountain didn't seem to cure my bad back at all. Oh, I... I didn't realize. Archie, I'm afraid we made a critical error in communicating with the Waziri elders. What do you mean? You see, in Waziri tradition, a single name is passed on from one generation to the next. So when Ursula and Kobe told you they were that old, they were referring to the lineage of their entire families every generation. But that means the fountain... Is just... Ordinary water. I'm sorry, Archie. Oh, what have I done? I've trapped us all. Oh, I'm a useless old coot. As my father told you, the power of the fountain comes from the journey itself. And you made it. Well, sure, Professor. Think of all you did. I mean, who was the one who got us over that ice bridge? Well, I did. And who led us through that storm, saving us from hypothermia and probably a nasty head cold? I did. And thus, by scientific deduction, who is the one most qualified to get us out of here? I am. But perhaps we shouldn't be trying to get out at all. Uh, perhaps what we need to do is get further in. Come on, this way! nature of this mountain has given me an idea. I just hope I'm remembering that summer session on volcanic geology I took. Uh, uh. Dead end. That's just an expression, right? I, you, you don't mean that way. Not to fear, Tantor. This is precisely what I've been looking for. Salty. Yeah, I, I don't know if seasonings are really the issue here. Get ready, people, and remember to take a deep breath. We're going to have to jump. Excuse me? Jump? Down there? This mountain has numerous geysers and hot springs. This spot must be their source.
Yes. <gasps> we made it. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Let's go again. You saved us, Daddy. Oh, not bad for an old coot, eh? <laughs> I'll put these on you two. You're going to catch your death. Not for my man Tarzan. He... We'll take them, thank you. Just to save some for me. <clears throat> hey. No. <clears throat> and then we came, shooting out of the mountain. Whoosh. Archie, if I might be so bold, would you do me the great honor of accompanying me on a jungle stroll? Uh, me? Oh, well, I, uh, that is to say, uh, or rather, I should. Uh, Robin, I would be most delighted. Hey, check out Professor Love. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Those who actually thought that you were 700 years old. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't even turn 197 until next month. You all good. <laughs> Let's join TJ and the gang next as they take a break in recess on Disney Cinemagic.